hello, 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 this is Shukar Rinpoche and this is our seventh session of 100 Days Compassion Challenge. Last six sessions were focusing on uh, self-compassion. From this seventh session, we are starting to focusing on other compassion, compassion to others. So there are three home assignments. Number one, it's very simple to become a vegetarian. I mean, minimum for one week to six weeks, if possible, whole life. Become a vegetarian is, a, I think, first step to respecting others' life. If you can't save other people, animals, sentient beings, we don't have any right to harm some innocent animals and eat their flesh. Because see, we wanted to live, we wanted to be happy, we don't want to suffer. And we don't wish our parents, friends, children to suffer. And same as the animal, they have a feeling, they have a family, they don't want to die, they don't want to suffer, they don't want it to their family, their children, their parents to suffer. And we can at least think in a way like as I wish to be happy, joy. But the animals, they also wish to be happy, joy. They don't want to suffer. Home assignment number two is set your intention. The intention of helping other beings when you, early in the morning, when you wake up, make this intention how I may be helping others today, bring a joy in other people's life. So when you leave the home or when you see your wife or husband or children or parents, or when you arrive in your working place or on the way those dangers, so, like a, to, 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 to kind of make this intention, may I be bring a joy to other people. So any time when you start some conversation, and especially the hard conversation, so at least it takes just one second, may I be, you know, bring a joy to other people's life in this conversation. So just very simple intention. You know, like just before you start any conversation or hard conversation, or even you are now going to meet with some people, you know, quite tough to deal with him or her. So still you make a, the intention, today may I, you know, kind of talk gently and nicely with him or her. So that setting intention the whole day, so put little mindful toward there, you know, just put little intention toward there. So that's the second uh, home assignment. And third home assignment was to give attention. You know, what really happened most of the time, we are too much self-obsessed, self-cherish. Do you understand what I mean? The self-obsessed, it's all about me, you know, why people are not looking at me, why people are looking too much at me, why people are talking about me, why people are don't talk about me. You know, like, oh, maybe people are judging my clothes, my shoes, my looks, my face, my nose, my hair. And as it's almost like a whole world is just looking at you and talking about you. So when you start to give attention to others, you know, not judging, but just giving attention to others. And did you notice that you know, at your home, maybe your wife, husband, your mother, your father, you know, like a, they give very much attention on us and they are so mindful what I, what I need, what I don't need. You know, sometimes, I don't know, did you notice or not? When sometimes you need a salt, your mother or maybe your wife, husband, they just notice it. Before you were kind of even going there, so they just bring the salt to you or maybe the, you know, any other things. So I'm just, just, 
because they, they are putting that attention toward you. And did you notice that sometimes when we love someone or when we care someone so much and we are giving really a quiet amount of attention toward that person and we almost like a reading his or her mind, like a, we, we almost feel before his move, we know what he wants. So that, that amount of attention try to give to other instead of putting too much self obsess you know, me and my and, and the whole world is talking about me. Just talking good about other people, give attention to other people and you will see some shifting, you know. So last six weeks that we have been kind of, what do you call, accumulating that warmness in our heart through compassion practice and through chanting mantra and through what they call the inner peace, let's say, becoming a best friend with ourselves, and we are a little warm, our hearted. So now in this next six weeks, we wanted to open that heart to other sentient beings, you know, sharing that love and warmth to other beings. So these are the three kind of daily uh, you put into your practice, become a vegetarian, you know, respect animals, and then the, the set intention in the morning or in the every different session of the day or even meeting with people. The third one is giving attention, the giving more attention to others. 